Nino Salagvatsi became a teen sensation back in 1988 when during her first Olympic Games in Seoul, she won gold and silver medals in the 25 and 10 metres pistol shooting. Back then she competed under the Soviet Union flag. Only after the fall of communism did it become possible for her to compete for Georgia. Starting in 1985, I was competing as a member of the Soviet team and nobody could challenge my place there until the fall of the Soviet Union. Then Georgia became independent and I started to compete for my country. I remember my father used to tell me, if you want to be part of an Olympic team, you have to be much better than your teammates. And it was always like that. That confidence helped me to win gold and silver medals at the Seoul Olympic Games when I was only 19. She's still coached by her father, Vachtang, who once was a member of the Soviet Union's complex shooting team himself. Currently, Nino trains the young generation of Georgian pistol shooters at the range in the capital Tbilisi that she's established. This time, the 43-year-old will be carrying the Georgian flag at the opening ceremony, along with making a milestone appearance. It will be the seventh Olympic Games for me, and despite the fact that I have great experience of competing in Olympics, the four-year gap between Games means that everything is different, and many nuances have to be taken into consideration. I am very happy and honoured that this year my country has given me the opportunity to carry the Georgian flag during the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games.